This is Twit. So Microsoft issued an, an emergency out of cycle patch for IE. Um, it was a while ago now, so hopefully everybody's received it and upload or updated. Although it's comprehensive, um, it was the day after our last podcast. They issued an emergency out of cycle patch to close a zero day vulnerability in IE that was under active attack for uh, and being used to attack Windows users. Um, it's it was discovered by Google's threat analysis group. Um, it's a remote code execution flaw in IE's JavaScript engine, and we've often talked about how difficult it is to get these right. You know, JavaScript is interpreting code that you that the browser downloads from wherever you go. And so on all pages have it, you know, are using it these days, so you're stuck with it. You know, famously back in the day, we we were before you block origin, it was no script and it, it made things a lot saner. And I liked it. But of course we gave up using it because you have to have JavaScript these days. Everything is using code that your browser is running. So when when this particular vulnerability is exploited, it allows hackers or attackers to execute arbitrary code in the context of the current user, which is eh, not as bad as also being able to elevate privilege, but you don't want random code running under even under your context because uh, it can still get up to mischief. And if the current user were logged on with administrative rights, then the attacker who exploited the vulnerability could take control of the, the entire system. Uh, install programs, view, change, delete, create new accounts even for themselves. So what makes this more worrisome is that our browsers, as, we, as I was just saying, run JavaScript code all the time. And in this instance, not only is it a specially designed web page, it could be HTML email, a mail attachment, an MS Office document, a PDF file, anything else that supports embedded IE scripting engine content and lots of things do. So, and this, uh, this exists in all instances of IE from IE9 on uh, Windows Server 2008, which would have been what version of Windows? Uh, 7 or maybe Vista, I think. Uh, IE10, IE11, uh, so, you know, just across the board. So uh, just make sure that, I mean, I would imagine a lot of us are have using uh, Firefox or Chrome and not IE, but you still, the, 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 the point is that it's the underlying engine component, not the browser itself. It's the, the jscript.dll library and other things will invoke that in your build of Windows, even if you're using another non IE browser. So, uh, um, I would, here we are where we are the second Tuesday of the month. This is patch Tuesday. I have not had a chance to check to see whether this thing, well, we, we know that it was an out of cycle patch. So I would imagine my, my point was that since then, and certainly if not before then today, everybody's machines are getting caught up and, and patched. And so, uh, definitely worth doing. This is the kind of thing that would be sprayed on, you know, an advertisement on on an unwitting web page could could use this. So this explains why Microsoft jumped the gun and put this out immediately.